Today we're we'll talking about Dwayne the Ad Johnson. This guy used to be incredible. He used to be the crowd's favorite, the America's favorite, sorry. Everyone loved him. The game plan came out, what else, the Tooth Fairy. This guy was on top of the world, WWE. I mean, he was the guy. And now, after he has 400 million followers, it seems like he's just a walking billboard. He's accepting any brand deal and any brand to come and then offer him a partnership or some crazy bag and then he says yes. The reason he had this brand was because everyone trusted him. He was, seemed to be, you know, America's favorite guy. He was basically the American dream at one point. Now that he's a part of 10 or 15 different brands, his brand identity is just, it seems like it's going downhill was because he was like a guy who just grinded, got his work done, took care of his family, and then he turned into a very political figure who thought he needed to get involved in politics just because he had a following. He started Tequila Company, which was, in my opinion, a decent move, right? It seems like every celebrity after George Clooney and Randy Gerber just starts a tequila company. Kevin Hart did it, Kendall Jenner did it, Mark Wahlberg did it, Brian Cranston. I probably can keep going actually, that's kind of insane how many people have it. I mean, Ryan Reynolds has the gym, although I highly respect Ryan Reynolds. Dwayne the Ad Johnson came out with his tequila, like, okay, that's amazing, he's got his brand, he's all said he's gonna crush this. And then once he launched it, it was just brand after brand, let's go, I'm gonna build all these different things at once. And the reason that influencer marketing stopped performing very well was because people wanted to follow their celebrities or their influencers and see what they were doing with their life. They weren't following them to get pitched an ab cruncher, to get pitched all of these different products to buy something. People wanted to watch somebody's, somebody else's life understand who they are, they enjoyed what exciting things they were doing, and now it just became shilling anything to their audience and fully devaluing their brand. And that is exactly what The Rock has done. So right now he has Terramana Tequila, he has Zoa Energy, he has Project Rock with Under Armour, and there's a few things he did along the way that just did not work out, which is fine, everyone has their failures. I'm sure every, every brand owner, every entrepreneur, every celebrity seems to have their brand that doesn't do very well. But The Rock has been through a few that will never be named. So so one, he had an athletic con, which was a full comic con for athletes, which that got derailed. But the craziest one was the rock clock. This thing would just wake you up with no snooze button. 4.45 was set, because that's when the rock wakes up. And then you would have regular, it'd be an alarm. It was just a regular alarm. And then he would wake you up by saying, get up with whatever his saying was. That didn't work at all. And he moved on from that one. And that was, I think, before the tequila. Now, the craziest thing about his personal brand is that he's accepting deals. It seems to be from any brand that comes out of nowhere, attaches their brand to his name, and he just starts shilling it. The craziest thing is Papa Tui. Why is this man selling shampoo when he's bald? I understand the face creams and the serums. I mean, the guy is a 50-year-old man, and he has amazing skin. The guy looks like he's very, he's very young for his age, regardless of the steroids and everything that he's on. This guy, he's got great skin. I would totally understand if he was selling an under eye serum for older men, if he was selling skincare, lotion. I would totally understand that. As soon as he starts getting into shampoo and conditioner, this makes no sense. I think his brand honestly took a dive from this. I think he was pushing brands so hard and all the movies he was doing, and then it finally caught up to him that he was not paying attention. He posted in and out hey, this is my in and out for the first time. It was his third time. He posted three videos saying, this is my in and out I'm going to in and out for the first time. What do I get? And everyone caught on to it. People are starting to realize how disingenuine celebrities, or mostly The Rock, are becoming. They realize that he's just selling to monetize his 400 million person audience, which makes sense, right? He should monetize. I totally understand that. But they're also realizing this man hasn't made a decent movie in years. I think there's one way to fix this, maybe two ways to fix this. One, he needs to stop doing as many things. He should just be focusing on his tequila and his movies. He should be doing movies, I saw he's coming out with one with A24. He should be focusing on such an amazing movie. How Adam Sandler did Uncup Gems, and people, although they of course respected Adam Sandler, found a new respect for him and a new love for Adam Sandler because he showed that he could really act. He wasn't just this Billy Madison character that he continuously played in every movie. Everyone's catching on that The Rock is the same character in every movie. And I think people have had enough of it. They had enough of him posting, you know, this is my cheat meal. This is me drinking tequila on a jet. This is me boarding a jet. I work so much. Buy my skincare, buy my shampoo, which makes absolutely, absolutely no sense. Buy my energy, energy drink now. Buy my clothing from The Rock or, or from Under Armour. People have fully caught on to that he's selling anything to anyone and it's getting to be a bit out of hand. So the first thing, as I mentioned, that he needs to do 
is focus. He, this guy needs to focus, right? I mean, everyone's, the key to scaling yourself and your business is to focus. If you focus on one thing and you become the best at it, you build the brand 10 times to what it could be as opposed to you having 10 things, right? I think Alex Ramosi mentioned, if you have 10 businesses and one's doing 5 million, the other ones are doing a few hundred K, you don't wanna shut those down. But if you went hard into the business doing 5 million, you could probably scale that to $100 million because all your focus and your resources are be being put into that. If he focused on Terramana or Zoa, and he really went after these markets and he, and, he, and he pushed it as hard as he possibly could, and he partners with all these restaurants, the same way that George Clooney did with all their distribution with Randy Gerber, if he, if he really pushed this tequila and showed how authentic it is, as opposed to, now I have this product, go buy my acorns, go sign up for the car with acorns, you know, whatever. It, it will come across way more genuine if he focuses on one thing. And if he really did this, people will be like, oh wow, this guy can act. I really respect what he's doing. Oh wow, he's only pushing his tequila? Maybe I'll give that a try because he's not selling me 10 other things that make no sense. As soon as he puts the shampoo, I, I, I swear, I was like, how is this even possible? Why is he doing this? It made me think that, is he even attached to any of these other brands or they're just paying him to be involved? It, it it kind of became, all right, this is enough. Like this is getting, you know, ridiculous. Another point was, I feel like as soon as you're at that level, you have a lot of yes men around you and I'm sure it's, you know, it's great in some areas and it also can lead to a downfall. It's very possible it leads to a downfall. Why did he release a rap song? Why, What's what was the point of that? It went viral on TikTok. I'm not really sure why it was, regardless of what you think of the song. I think as soon as you start to do too much, the, the brand identity and the brand value just starts to plummet. This is, I think, what could lead to the downfall of The Rock. I obviously hope that does not happen. I'm very bullish on him. I think he's going to, I hope he rebounds. I mean, with, four, with 400 million followers, I'm sure he'll be fine. But this is what I think he can do to improve. This is what I think about the marketing of his business. And, you know, I just like to pay attention to the marketing behind all these celebrity brands. Some. Brands are doing incredible that are attached to celebrities. Some, you know, not the best. I think Brian Reynolds is a great case of how to do it and what to do properly. And I think The Rock is, you know, pushing too many opportunities as opposed to focusing on one that absolutely smashes. Like Conor McGregor had the whiskey, sold it, moved on to the other things. Brian Reynolds had it, sold it, moved on to the other things. I think if he focuses, he can become huge. Everyone will find him genuine again and he can definitely make, you know, a comeback. But, you know, he, he's fine. These are my takes. I uh, hope you appreciated this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.